Hello Rocketeers, it's Jeff again with video 3 on the larger, bigger rocket stove. There have been some questions directed my way for more details, and I'll hope to answer some of those for you today. One question was, how big is the surface area? And the surface itself is around... 16 inches for the usable cooking area, 16 wide by just about 13. Which allows again the three pots to sit on this. The smokestack ferrule or connector is Nothing expensive. It's a junkyard find, and it's the fitting for garbage disposal. It's stainless steel, which I've just riveted onto here. And so to make it portable, the smokestack then sits down over top of this in a very tight, tight fit. I experimented around with the exhaust itself and and now it has a half circle cut out to bring the exhaust up. Though I did additionally try to make a vortex with this where I cut out from stainless again part of a, a tube and put in and and so it went like like this where the smoke would come in spin in a vortex as it was coming up and it did make a a small vortex but it didn't increase the efficiency or any of the temperatures so i went back to my half wall panel there were some other questions about the the inlet box and and that was just made from stainless steel bent in the shape of a square with a section cut out wood going in this setting like so with this open and the fire then coming into here very difficult for me to get them square the stove itself can be cleaned by just some wag said the Hoover method. Just insert a vacuum hose down in after every second or third burn. And, and this adaption is a little funnel. I have added a pellet feed chute and additionally added a door where I just had a piece of metal previously. And I've made it in two parts to cut off the air so when there are pellets in here it just doesn't turn into a chimney and, and burn up through it. Something that didn't show up on the initial video were the inlets for my secondary air which runs through a, a wall here to add secondary air into the turn right here. So the air is preheated and kicks around into the last two chambers. I have four holes in it at this point because four holes seem to work the best. The stove itself is pretty easy to clean or modify if you want to by breaking it down. And I'll show you how that works. Okay. And so the stove breaks down this way with these latches. I spin it around and, and as I'm doing so you can notice the handles which make this portable. You can carry it out to the picnic table. It, it weighs about 50 pounds with the fire bricks in it though. So to take it apart, it's an easy lift off, and now you can see the inside fire chambers, and, and you'll notice that 
I put some insulation in those open areas before, which works quite well. And on the side over here, this metal, because it had this angle, the metal was bent so it goes under the fire brick, up, over, and down, and ceramic insulation of about an inch thickness is put in there. And the results are really good in that the outside temperatures are around 100 degrees, where the top can get up to over 900 degrees. So it's doing a good job of focusing the heat. The bottom, again, is fire brick. This last chamber, or the first chamber, I had a piece of fire brick in, but I removed that and put in a sheet of stainless steel and this bent stainless steel with all the, the holes like a screen and this really reduced the ash when it was in here. I tried this a couple different ways. Another piece of screen which again increased the burn and I added a little ramp, which I first tried with the pellets that ran down. But I've done that a different way now. And here's a look at the secondary air. Comes in through this two-walled chamber. And, and exits here, so the fire is traveling. And it exits in the direction of the flow and then the last would be where your chimney comes out. Can't happen. No, you know you're carrying something. That's up like so, for now anyway. And then the chimney I was talking about, this one is six foot, though a four foot will work equally well. It's a case of running what you brung, and I had this.